Okay, and we're back. This is uh, the second time I'm having to record this this part because previously my computer had a fit and decided not to save it. So here we go again. Right, where were we? I do believe at the end of the last one we just created these variables and we're talking about uh, using post to send them to our chat.php page. Now if you know you used um, jQuery's post function it takes two variables or two parameters even. The first one is the page we're sending information to so in this case it will be chat.php the second parameter we're going to put is the post variables now it does take more parameters but we don't need to worry about that we're going to be sending over three post variables. The first one is going to be mode so that's the um, the post key and followed by our um, the, mo the mode we're going to be sending over so that's our value which is send shout one thing I must mention before I do carry on, which I discovered in the last video, our message we were originally referencing to the input with a class of JS underscore shout, but JS underscore shout is that submit submit button right here, which obviously we don't want to send over. We want to send JS message. So I've swapped them over. The next post variable we're sending over will be our user. And we're sending over the variable of username. And the last one we're sending is our shout, which will take the message variable. Once that's been posted, what we want to do is we don't want to clear our message input box. So we do this by referencing the JS underscore message, followed by dot val, which is value, and inside the parenthesis, we're going to just put two single quote marks and open and close to represent blank <coughs> so we can save that and we want to go over to the chat.php now we've I've made the um, MySQL connection now we're going to do if post variable of mode equals that of our send shout then we want to do something and all we're doing is we run it we're just doing a query and we're going to be insert into chat set these variables of username equals the post of user and remember you want to actually pass these variables before you um, put them into the database for security reasons the next one we're doing is a message
which was our post shout variable. Now we want to run this query like so. And that's all, all you need for to send, uh, to send a shout. So we come back over to our <coughs> our page. What we've got is we all, we can put in our username, and our message of hello world. When we submit that, our username has vanished because. I'm not entirely sure. Only anyway, coming back over. That should have now been put into our chat table. We've got our username, followed by our message, and our timestamp. I know exactly why. Um, it all went wrong there because I haven't actually refreshed the page. So, now I've refreshed the page and we put hello world and we click submit, nothing should happen. So we click submit a hundred times and the message will never be sent. If we go back over to our, in, our submit button here we want to add an on click event listener and just put in our function of send shout. So now when we come back over here, we put in our username Hello World is our message, submit that and the message is vanished. When we come back over to here, there's our second message. And there's all is good. <coughs> what we're going to do next is look at retrieving all those messages that have been put in. We're going to be doing. We're going to be creating another function. This function is going to be a bit longer, and we'll be using some JSON. So the first thing we're going to do is to put in a new div into our JS shouts div with an input type of hidden and a value of zero. This div we want to call we want to give this a class name of We'll put JS shout hold and by doing this we can now reference everything inside of this div using children. We can also access the parent by using parents. So that's the HTML setup done. We can now come back over to our scripts and create another function and we'll call this update shout. We don't need any parameters in here either. <coughs> the first thing we need to do is we need to create a variable. And we're going to call this variable timestamp. Now this timestamp oh, where are we? will 
will be this value here. This input variable here will appear in every um, in, in every shout. So this is going to be different for each and every one. It's not always going to be. Well, it's going to be in the same position, but the value the value will obviously be different. And find uh, getting this value is not hard, but it's not exactly obvious straight away. So we're going to need to reference a few the few things um, for this timestamp variable. First thing we're going to need to reference is the class of JS shouts followed by the class of JS shout oops hold col uh, colon semicolon no that is a colon first child followed by a space input open and close square brackets type equals hidden dot VAL so what this does is it references the JS shouts div which is this one here and it then references the JS shout hold the first ch first child, which means the first one um, within that the the, fir the first JS shout hold div in the JS shouts div. If that makes sense. And then inside that child, we're referencing the input with a type of hidden, which calls this and then we're calling the value of that so that'll equal zero okay the next part um, in completing this function is going to be pretty long-winded but I'll give you a quick uh, a brief outline of what we're going to be um, doing before this video ends and we'll continue it in the next video. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be sending that um, variable timestamp to our chat PHP page and we're going to use it to look up a as a reference to find out when the last um, chat was made. So we're going to what we're going to be counting how many um, rows in the table are after that timestamp. If the um, return value is it, uh, says that there's um, updates in the chat then we're going to go back and call for all of those um, up the up the updated chats uh, the updated shouts. So I'll uh, see you in the next video, and we'll uh, finish this function off.